This is what the Telegram Immersive Apple Vision Pro app will look like. This is how Apple intends to showcase the Vision Pro in stores. Apple is preparing its retail staff for the Vision Pro launch to guarantee an ideal fit. Journalists are astounded by their first-hand experiences with Apple Vision Pro's spatial videos. These are the updates we will cover today. Make sure to watch the video until the end to be the first to know about these Vision Pro news. Let's get started. Telegram's immersive Apple Vision Pro app. Pavel Durov, the guy who created Telegram, shared a sneak peek of what the Telegram app is going to look like on Vision OS, Apple's software for the Vision Pro headset. This is one of the first looks we've got at any third-party app made for Vision OS. The video is up on Telegram and was first spotted by 9to5Mac. The cool thing about this app is that it has this translucent design that kind of blends into whatever's around it. That's the style Apple is going for with Vision OS. It sounds like it's going to make using the app feel super futuristic and seamless. In the Telegram app for Vision OS, there's a sidebar that shows all your chats. When you play videos, they sort of pop out and become way more immersive, like you're right there in the action. And get this, when you send emojis, they take over the screen and animate in all these cool ways. And for sending messages, you've got options. You can use a virtual keyboard that pops up or you can just talk and have Siri dictate the message for you. It's all about making chatting on Telegram super interactive and fun with the Vision Pro headset. Sounds like a whole new way to message. Just like all the other icons on the Vision OS home screen, the Telegram icon does something pretty neat. When you look at it and select it, it sort of animates and pops out a little. This is a way to let you know that you've highlighted that app. To open it, you just need to do a little tap with your fingers. The Vision Pro headset is all about navigating with your eyes and gestures, making things really hands-on, or I guess eyes-on. Apple's planning to release the Vision Pro early in 2024, which probably means we'll see it sometime before or around April. As we get closer to that launch date, we're likely going to see more and more apps getting ready for Vision OS. Comment below what apps or games do you like to see coming to the Apple Vision Pro? Onboarding videos revealed in Vision OS Beta 6. The sixth beta version of Vision OS, which is the special software for their Vision Pro headset, has some cool new stuff, including two tutorial videos that help you learn how to use the Vision Pro when you're setting it up. The first video, which is about 36 seconds long, is called Input Training. It was shared by M1 Astra Online on X. This video shows you how to control the Vision OS just by looking at different parts of the screen and double tapping to select things. There's a narrator in the video guiding you through how it all works. Sounds like they're really trying to make it easy for everyone to get the hang of it. This is what the narrator says. Your eyes and hands are how you navigate Apple Vision Pro. You browse the system by looking and it responds to your eyes. Simply look at an element and tap your fingers together to select it. It's like a click on your Mac. To scroll, pinch your fingers together and gently flick. You can keep your hands where they're comfortable, such as resting on your lap. With the Apple Vision Pro headset, there's this neat feature where the cameras on it make a customized persona that looks like you. You can use this persona when you're on video chat apps, like FaceTime. It's pretty cool because it means you can have a digital version of yourself in chats. There's another tutorial video, about 50 seconds long, called Persona Enrollment. It was also shared by M1 Astra. In this video, Apple shows you how to set up your persona. They use eyesight display to guide you through the process, making sure it's all easy to follow. This way, you get to see how you can create your own digital lookalike for your video calls. The narrator says the following. To set up your persona, You'll remove Apple Vision Pro to capture your appearance. Take your time getting ready and ensure nothing is covering your face. To start capturing, hold Apple Vision Pro at eye level. Keep your arms and shoulders relaxed. Then follow the instructions. Turn your head to the right, to the left, and tilt up and down. Then you'll capture your facial expressions. Smile with your mouth closed, smile showing your teeth, raise your eyebrows, and close your eyes. When you're done, put Apple Vision Pro back on to see your persona. 
Like we talked about before, if you want to use the 3D capture feature on the Vision Pro, you'll need to take off anything that's covering your face, like glasses. It doesn't seem like there's a way to scan your glasses separately. But don't worry, Apple's got a plan. They're going to let you choose from a bunch of different select eyewear options so you can pick out something that looks like your glasses. That way, your digital persona can still look just like you, glasses and all. These personas are a big part of Vision OS that Apple is really focusing on getting just right before they launch the Vision Pro headset. Back in September, Apple even started asking developers who have the Vision Pro to share what they think about their personas. They wanted to know all about how well the facial expressions and appearance matching worked, along with other details. It's all about making sure these digital versions of ourselves look and feel as real as possible. How to buy the Apple Vision Pro? Looks like if you want to get your hands on the new Vision Pro, you might have to head over to an Apple store. Mark Gurman at Bloomberg says that's probably how it's going to go down. Back in October, he shared that Apple was busy getting their retail store employees from all across the United States over to Cupertino, California. They're going there to learn all about the Vision Pro headset, like how to use it and sell it. Apple even sent out this secretive memo to all their store folks, telling them to apply if they want to be part of this big training event. But getting in isn't just a free pass. They have to go through an application and even an interview to get selected. Sounds like Apple's really making a big deal about this launch. This is an extract from the memo. Selected team members will travel and participate in an event in Cupertino, California at some point in the first months of 2024. Upon returning to their home store, they'll deliver training and ongoing support to store team members. This is a group opportunity for those who have a deep passion for demonstrating Apple products and teaching others. In his latest Power On newsletter, Mark Gurman mentioned that Apple is now planning these big training seminars for store employees. They're set to start in mid-January. Each employee who goes is going to get two whole days to learn all about the Vision Pro. They'll be taught how to set it up, how to talk to customers about it, and even how to place the headset on someone's head just right. German had also mentioned before that the big flagship Apple stores are going to have special areas just for the Vision Pro where people can try it out. But the smaller stores might only get one or two of these headsets. So, it seems like Apple's really putting in the effort to make sure their team is ready to help customers with this new device. Mark German pointed out that even though you can reserve a Vision Pro online, it looks like Apple really wants you to come into the store to pick it up, probably by making an appointment. The idea is that they'll put together your Vision Pro right there in the store. They'll get the right headband for you, the light seal, and if you need them, even prescription lenses. And it sounds like the stores are going to get some new tools and equipment soon, so they can put together and package these headsets just right. Apple's definitely planning to make this a pretty special experience for anyone getting a Vision Pro. How Apple plans to display Vision Pro in stores. Apple's first big headset, the Apple Vision Pro, is about to come out. Apple's been saying it's going to be available early in the year. Now, some people are whispering that it might even show up before March. With the release date getting closer, Apple is getting all set to have the Vision Pro available in its U.S. stores. Aaron Paris, who contributes to Macromores, found some cool info in a database that gives us a peek at how Apple plans to display the Vision Pro. These design images shows that Apple designed this stylish stand just for the headset. It's going to fit right in with the other Apple products. The stand is curved and will hold the Vision Pro up so you can see the display, headband, and everything else from all around. It's going to be pretty neat to see. The Vision Pro headsets are going to be connected to a battery pack that sits under the headset on the stand. Apple's not hiding the battery pack at all, and they're going to put the stands on a mat with room for two headsets each. Just like with all their cool stuff, Apple's making special areas in their stores for the Vision Pro. The big stores will have places where you can actually try it on. The smaller stores might have a couple of headsets, but we're not sure if you'll get to try them out. 
Apple's also training their store employees in Cupertino this January. They're learning all about setting up the Vision Pro and helping customers buy it. It's a pretty fancy device with special headbands and light seals, and some folks will even need custom lenses made just for them. It looks like you'll probably have to go to an Apple store if you want a Vision Pro. Even if you order it online, you might need to pick it up at the store so they can make sure it fits you just right. At first, they're only selling it in the US, but they plan to sell it in other countries by the end of 2024. The Vision Pro is going to cost about $3,500, and Apple's thinking they'll make less than 400,000 of them in 2024. So it's going to be pretty exclusive. Apple trains retail staff for Vision Pro launch. Ensuring the perfect fit. So Apple's got big plans for their Vision Pro, and they want to get it out by February. Mark Gurman from Bloomberg says they've been working super hard for the past few weeks to have everything ready by the end of January. Apple first talked about the Vision Pro last June, telling us it'll be out early in 2024. At first, people thought it might come out in March, but now the buzz is that it might be as soon as January. When it does come out, it'll start in the United States. It seems like you'll need to go to a store to buy it or pick up an online order. Apple really wants to make sure this fits just right. They've got a special headband and a thing called the light seal to block out any outside light. If it's not snug, things might not look as awesome as they should, and the headset could feel too heavy. But here's some good news for folks who wear glasses. Apple's going to use special Zeiss lenses to make sure you can see clearly. They're planning to customize these right in the store. So everything about this headset, they're putting it together right there in the Apple store to make sure it's perfect for you. Apple's getting ready to show off the Vision Pro in some of its stores. They're making sure these stores have the headsets and all the bits and pieces like different headband sizes and light seals. They're even sending store employees to Cupertino to learn all about setting up the Vision Pro just right for customers. German says these employees are going to learn everything about the Vision Pro, like how it works and what cool things to tell people who might want to buy one. They're going to get really good at fitting the headband, light seal, and even prescription lenses. It's important stuff because they need to make sure the headset fits perfectly on your head. Plus, there's this app that scans your face to suggest the best size for the headband and light seal. But an employee will double check to make sure everything's just right. So Apple's making sure their team knows exactly what to do to help you out. Even with all this planning, Apple's not throwing a big launch event since it's only coming out in the US at first, and it's pretty pricey at $3,500. Plus, they're not making a ton of them right away. If a lot of people want one, it might take a while for Apple to catch up. Even though February is the goal, German is saying that if they run into any problems making them, there might be some delays. So we'll just have to wait and see how it all turns out. Journalists blown away by their own Apple vision. Pro Spatial Videos. Apple's got something neat coming with its new iOS 17.2 update. If you've got an iPhone 15 Pro or iPhone 15 Pro Max, you can now record 3D spatial videos. What's cool is you'll be able to watch these videos on the upcoming Apple Vision Pro headset, hen it becomes available for purchase. To show off this new feature, Apple invited some media folks to try it out. They recorded videos with their iPhones and then watched them on the Vision Pro. People who got to see their videos in 3D are saying it's like stepping back into those moments. CNET's Scott Stein shared that videos of his family, especially his mom, felt super real and almost like he was right there with them. He noticed in fast-moving videos, the frame rate of 30 FPS was a bit obvious, but the HDR photos looked amazing, really bright and clear, and they appeared better than on a TV or a Mac with popped HDR and options to zoom in. This is what CNET's Scott Stein said. I also got a kick out of seeing some of my favorite exhibits at the Museum of Natural History in 3D. I went to the Hall of Ocean Life, where a trio of little tanks on the top floor house dioramas of prehistoric sea creatures that I've loved since I was a kid. I captured the ammonites and trilobites gliding from case to case. In 3D on Vision Pro, it felt like a little home diorama revisited. 
I could see the joy of capturing little immersive installations or spaces that aren't easy to go back to and having them in front of you again. Lance Ulanoff from TechRadar was really surprised by how awesome and real the panoramic images he took looked. He said the wider view let him see all these little details he'd never noticed before. He even took a video of a model train, and it felt so real, like it was about to roll right into his lap. When he compared these videos to normal ones, he noticed that everything felt more alive and it made him feel way more emotions. He mentioned that watching family videos in 3D can make you feel a whole lot of feelings, like way more intense than just watching a regular video. Raymond Wong from Inverse was talking about spatial videos and said they feel alive because the edges get all glowy and dreamlike, which makes the whole thing feel like a real memory. He watched a video of his mom in the spatial videos format and it totally took him back. He said it was surreal to watch her talking, laughing, and eating right there in the video, like he was reliving the moment all over again. Wong noticed that when you're the right distance away, spatial videos can look life-sized, and even from afar, it was really emotional seeing his mom in 3D. He thinks that once people can watch their own videos on the Vision Pro, they'll understand the best moments to use this feature. This is what he mentioned. I think Apple was right in suggesting I capture sentimental content in spatial video. Cool as it was to see my colleagues at the office and a bar with a little bit of the third dimension, I don't think re-watching those clips had the same impact on me as the ones of my family. I suspect once people have the opportunity to see their own content in Vision Pro, they'll get a better sense of when and when not to tap the spatial video icon in the camera app on their iPhones. Josh Rubin from Cool Hunting found that even in low light, the videos looked good on the Vision Pro. He learned that the best videos had things happening close up, but not too much movement, or it might make you feel dizzy. He found that gently moving the camera in open areas made the best kind of videos to watch. This is what he mentioned. Shots with the camera stationary, such as on a tripod, are ideal, but camera movement is often necessary or desire to make a satisfying story. I found that recording linear and gently curved movements, especially in open spaces, created videos that were easy to view. By contrast, sharp turns in close quarters created more jarring videos. So Apple's Vision Pro headset is coming out early in 2024, and they're hoping folks will have lots of their own 3D videos ready to watch. You can start recording these spatial videos now on your iPhone 15 Pro or Max but they'll only look 3D when you watch them on the Vision Pro. Let us know in the comments what you think about spatial videos.